Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today, we are going ahead and putting on the Keaton seed infirmers that will allow us to put fertilizer or pop up down on the planter. So, if you look up towards the front of the planter, you'll see that we do in fact have a new uh, fertilizer tank on the front. Uh, the old one that we had was round and it wasn't the right one apparently. So this one was out in Nebraska They ordered it and it got here in pretty quick time So Travis and dad went ahead and mounted it while I was sick the last few days I've been pretty well down with the few flu for the last three or four days now actually all this week I have been so Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and mount another seed firmer on this row. We've already got the ones up in the front done, which are the outer, outer six. And now we all only have to do the middle six. So we're gonna start tearing this row apart and we're gonna show you what you need to tear apart if you're gonna be mounting these seed firmers on a planter like this. Now these are, these are universal. Uh, we got these from Sloan's Express and there is a link to, the, to them down in the description if you guys are interested in doing this with your planner. Um, this little project does require a bit of fabrication, but I think it's really gonna help us uh, long, term, long term being able to put pop-up down with the planner. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, I have to push the tube onto, this, onto the seed firmer. And um, there's actually two tubes if you'll look inside. We're gonna be mounting it on the outer one, which Spreads, spreads the fertilizer straight down the seed row. And um, yeah, it's actually seed applied. And then the bottom one there is meant to spray the walls of the row. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to get at the firmer, we gotta take this cage wheel off as well as this opener. And uh, that allows us to get right in at the seed firmer and pull it out. wondering is reverse thread on these disc openers. These are fun. I got a blood dust around my finger from it. Like a glove. So there's the difference between the two. Now, if we were completely swapping out the part that the seed firmers go into, um, that would be the part that we replace. We'd have to remove a bunch of screws that are on the opposite side, and um, that would, would split into two pieces. However, being as it, these are the precision parts that we need, uh, there really is no need to swap them out unless they're completely shot. And to do so, we'd have to take the wheels off on the planter. And since we're kind of going for a high speed return on putting these things on, um, we're just going to use the mounts that are already installed. We're not and, gaining um, anything by using the new mounts. These are the exact same ones that you know, come in the package. Um, one thing to remember is you remove these sh shims and that it mounts right here. You take this bolt out and it's secured up here. And this whole piece right here will come off. Um, it's the same thing on the other side. You have to take off the gauge wheel, the seed disc opener, and it comes off on the other side. It's pretty easy to do. It's just a little time consuming. Yep. So now um, I gotta slip on the tube on the new firmer. So
thing you got to be careful to do is make sure you don't pinch that. watch oh. okay I lied um, I did it too quick this actually clicks in up through here it has a little tab that this firmer kind of locks into that's why I had trouble pulling a, the other the old one back out that's that's essentially it's how it works all I gotta do you go through and when you tighten this down there's supposed to be 11 sixteenths of the thread still showing you can see the the old thread that still has dirt on it i'm going to tighten it down to where it's still shiny if you can see that's the tip of my finger like that. Cool. Now all we gotta do is put the opener back on, measure it to make sure that it's set right, trimmed up properly, and then put the gauge wheel back on, and then it's on to the next row. Yep. So it's pretty straightforward putting these on. Um, what we gotta do yet is we gotta put the hoses and everything on yet. We still gotta run all of them. So um, that should be the easy part. But yeah. the most tedious part is doing this because running the hoses, we already got the seed boxes off. All that it should really take as far as running the hoses, I don't know how much you've shown to the, the tank, but we gotta put the flow rate on it, the red ball flow. Mm -hmm. Um, and then from there, we got to tube all the lines down through the frame, make sure they don't pinch, and then just cable tie them up. So I think this part is actually going to be the most time consuming. Yeah. Or tedious. Tedious is probably the better term. Yep. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this row up. Yep. So after we get this row back together, it's on to the next row. Five left to go. Okay. For those of you, if you're going to do a video on how if we do this you to make sure these seed firmers are checked right you tighten them down as you normally would the close or the opening wheels right? opening wheels what i say closing wheels firmers firmers no these seed opening discs and what you do is you take two pieces of paper and you put them up between the seed discs and you slide them up until they catch just like that now don't try like force them ahead just whenever you get resistance there just like that and this one it's the same thing now what you do is you take tape measure it looks to me like we have to tighten this one up. Um, you're supposed to have a two inch gap between these two pieces of paper and we very much do not. We're off by about three quarters of an inch. So all we're going to do is we'll take the seed disc back off. I'll pit, pull one shim out and then we'll check it again. So we do have all of the heat and seed firmers on the planter now. We just have to run the piping and we can see 
that the hoses are stuck through right here. And the ends that are going to attach onto these are gonna overlap by about two inches. So we're gonna be putting that on soon. Um, new tank, dad just put on the flow gauge for the fertilizer. So the flow gauge has little balls in it and they float depending on the rate at which the fertilizer is going through. Therefore, we know if any rows are having any issues or not. And it is properly seated in a good visible place from the tractor cab. We will have to take off the quick attach that is on the 46 because as we go around terrain, uh, most notably any turns or hills, um, we are definitely gonna have a problem with the bracket hitting the three point. So with that, uh, I will let you all go. Uh, we're gonna keep on working on this. We gotta run all the hosing yet. Uh, we gotta run a hose from the fertilizer tank to the flow gauge and then it'll split off. And we're probably gonna run the tubing right down through the frame that holds the fertilizer tank. So with that, uh, it should be about it for this video. Um, I'll let you guys know once we're all done putting this thing back together. Um, uh, with how the weather's been going, it's kind of been a yeah thing. Um, it's, today we just got like an inch of snow and it's melted already. But I am definitely ready for spring to actually come around. <laughs> uh, I am just so over all of the brown and all the snow. And I'm ready to start planting. So with that, I will let you all go. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And I'll see you next time.